Alrighty, here we go. Where were we? Okay, this thing, my lovely little cropping controller. Um, it's been a while since I've actually given it some uh, tender loving care, and there's been a few pull requests piling up. Um, so I thought I'd go through that and um, clear these out. Hopefully these things actually work. NS Max and the new iPad Pro. Hopefully it's all fixed now. Before it was quite broken. Looking pretty good. Nice. All right, I guess first things first. Um, it needs a new screenshot. The screenshot hasn't been updated for a whole year, and now new devices are out, and it looks quite old. Let's first things first. Let's uh, let's make some screenshots. Um. Okay. So, first thing I always do when I make screenshots is I make sure the status bar is up to date. Um, because I prefer it when it says 941 and not 606. Let's do that quickly. There's a great library called Simulator Status Magic. You open it up and run it on the simulator, force the status bar into the one that Apple likes. No, 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 I don't put memes in my screenshots. What do you think, some kind of meme lord? Nine forty-one. now, that's good. Same for the iPad. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh yeah, that works. Yes. No date there, but I, I guess there's no easy way to add that in. I'll have to fix that later. Alrighty. There's some pictures. Well, normally, I, what my pictures are is the, the big ones always, if I get to go to WWDC, they'll be pictured me at WWDC. My little pictures always pictured my dog. And she's, she's, my, she's my motivation. Alrighty, so let's go here. There's a more recent picture of my dog with my Apple TV remote next to her. Put that in this one. Actually, while I'm at it, let me get some um, templates devices first. Best one is Pix Eden. Have they made a template for the 10s Max yet? Whoa, what is that? That looks cool. Isometric template survive. Oh, that's very sexy. I should keep that in mind. Um, ooh, 10R. Okay. Yeah, let's get that one. That looks sexy. And yeah, that's 10R. Um, what about iPad? Do we, oh boy, do we actually have mock-ups of new iPads yet? They are still quite new. We do, excellent. Done. All right, we'll stitch this one, get a 10R instead. Yeah. Come on, Xcode. Come on, Xcode, you can do it. Oh dear, Xcode died. Hang on, alright. Ah, Xcode actually. Oh wait, nope, there we go. Xcode's alive again. Let's put the status bar update on the uh, later. Oh, that one already had the, the defaults. Okay, cool. That's good. Picture of the dog in that one. 
And for this one, there's a lovely picture of me and my good friend Matt at WWDC 2018, so we'll put that one in here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, thanks, Lee. Good to see you again. Have fun d and Keep it kosher. Oh, jeez. Open those templates in Photoshop and see what we got here. No promises. Oh, oh, even the pencil. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Pixiden does a. I'm, I'm not pronouncing that right. Pix Pixiden. 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 They do fantastic work, absolutely fantastic work. Except their status bar looks terrible, but the rest looks fantastic. Oh. Let's prepare a screenshot. Rotate, you rotate them that way normally. Good. Ready. This into here. Players. iPad Pro mock up. Pen. It's not a pen, it's a pencil. What? 11 inch. Cool. Yep. This in here. Um, rotate it. Hope I rotate that the right way. Yes, that is the right way. Excellent. Those two. Background. Kill the. Where's the shadow? Kill the shadow. Eh. The shadow's not baked in, I hope. No, it's not. There we go. objects so we don't store the pixels transform it there we go first bit done and then the next bit is the 10r where is that and r profile picture I'll make a new canvas while we're at it how big was the original one? The original one is... That's tiny. Um, can't see how big that is. Oh, there we go. 1,000 pixels high, 1,780 pixels wide. Okay. 1,780 pixels wide. Make it, I don't know, I'll make it 3,000 high for now. That is... The wrong size. <laughs> Wait, no, that's correct. I just went overboard. Uh, twenty five hundred. Okay. I clearly can't Photoshop. Object still, yep, cool. I think, yep. Okay, that's the iPad is in now for the iPhone 10. My favorite color is red, so I'm gonna go have a red 10R. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Kind of want to buy one of these. The lack of dual lens is kind of killing it for me. Picture of my dog. The doggy dog. Good, kind of appropriate with the Apple hardware in shot. <laughs> Even though it's kind of got, got my greasy fingerprints on it, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, status bar is correct, yep. Oh, what? The hell? What the hell was that? There was some kind of pixel artifacting. Ah, oh, must be Photoshop. Okay. Oh, wait. Kill the shadow. Yeah, I don't... I don't the reason I don't like shadows is because, um... When you rotate them, they, they look kind of weird. When you scale them, they look, they look even weirder. Kill the shadow. Kill the shadow! There you go. Done. Not object. Oops. That other one go. Yay. Whoops. Didn't. That didn't get made to a smart object. Next question is, how big is the 10R compared to the 12.89 inch iPad? Like, uh, I have no idea what frame of reference this needs to be. Oops. Or if I can actually scale it right. Essing. Essing that much? I actually have no idea. Alright, let's go to the Apple website and find out. I mean, it's the little things that count, but... Um, um, yeah, it's kind of like, I just need to figure out what the relative sizes are. This thing is vertically or horizontally, yeah. That one, okay, so the top edge is 214 millimeters. I don't know why, but whenever I search for it, I get LAE. Vertically. I oh, come on, just give me give me the physical height. Yeah. That's what the There's no there's no vertical there's no physical um Oh there we go. Height is 150. 150 millimeters versus 214 millimeters. So it is 70% of the height. There we go. What's 70%? That's 100%. That would be. Not good, I think. Maybe it's not completely correct, but fine. a bit there because there I just see the edge both of them go yeah that's my desktop for now but okay. oh you control a screenshot Wider. Waste any space. Any space at all. Whoops. Just zooming in our crotches there. That's great. Go. Good. A little 
little bit of a drop shadow. Too much. I haven't given myself enough vertical space now. space. The horizontal space. There we go, that looks good. Pretty good. There we go, that works. Oh, done. Screenshot is done. Let's, we'll just, uh, let's, see, let's let's save the old screenshot. The hell is it? <laughs> Where's the screenshot? Oh, images. Here we go. Okay, call this one 2017. Screenshot. Okay. Change the uh, URL. Let's we'll change the, the width slightly. Eighteen hundred divided. Whoops. Eighteen hundred divided by two now. 900 pixels. That should do it. I'm not gonna make a PR for this. <laughs> Let's screw that. That's too much effort. Updated screenshot for 2018. I have to pull down some changes first. Delete the Swift 4.2 branch, don't need that. Whoa! Daniel Sharp, how's it going? How's Perth going? The truth. Ooh, very pretty. Date. Very, very good. Alrighty. That's the important work done out of the way. Now the other other bit is getting it up to date for uh, everything else that people are asking for. Alright, so the, the main one is... Swift 4.2 support is not yet fully realized, I guess, currently. Give that a try. Xcode for 10.1. Go to my Swift project. Build it for 10R. Let's see what happens. Clean it for. No build warnings? No build warnings. No build warnings. Excellent. All right. Yep. This version's up to date. So 4.2. That's great. I don't know what that those people were asking about. I'm guessing they're they're upset the Cocoa Pods isn't up to date yet. All right. Never mind. So that's good. So 4.2 is checked off. Um. I guess the other one now is let's have a look at the PRs. This card changes confirmation alert. Oh, cup noodle, eh? I know this guy. Um, cool. 
So, adding and undo changes. Uh, whoa, that's a lot of code. Um, mm? Is that necessary? I have to have a play with this one. Hmm. I need to have a play with this one. How do I how do I stick it into a not master branch? Yeah, I don't know how to GitHub. GitHub. Put PR in separate branch. What about pull requests. How do I checking out pull requests locally? Is that it? Hmm. And I can, there's a command to check them out here. Command line instructions, yes. Okay. You can perform manager emergence. Right. We're going to check out a new branch and test the changes. Ah, cool. All right, sounds simple enough. I think I think I can do this. It's cool guys, I got this. Check out. Pull the changes. Oh, I see, make a new branch and then pull the changes. Uh, but I don't. I don't. What is this? Oh, it's Vim. Yeah, that's fine. How do you... God damn it, I hate Vim. How to save a file in Vim. God, story of my life. <sighs> How to save. If you're currently in insert Venmo, just press escape. I guess I'm not. Oh, press X. Nope. Okay, that... Set your default thing to not be Vim. How do you how do you quit Vim? Hopefully that did it. Let's just check. Let's check a tower. That... Cool. I just completely <laughs> screwed up the commit message, but that's fine. All right, let's have a try of this now. Cancel under changes appears. Guard chain. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's necessary to have a bunch of properties tracking the state. I think, I think we can be smarter about that. Might be wrong, but let's have a look. What changed? First of all, we gotta localize it. That aspect ratio is that. 
Shouldn't be in there, but that's fine. It's already been merged. I might check that. I might change that too. It seems weird that you have to pre-populate it. Like I think it would make more sense to have it nil, and if you've actually set it to be not nil with some values, that's when it actually starts to care. But um, we can change that later. It's a button. I don't think this is necessary. Because we already have like reset state check tracking with the, the toolbar. When the thing sets to, to, when there are changes you can reset, it makes the uh, it? it makes the um, reset button become uh, enabled, and I've clean forgotten wherever that is. It's about enabled. Here. Kind of reactive. We set it to be. There we go. Property did become resettable. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's, um, so let's, um, let's just, is the cancel button here? I think it is. So, let's just have a single property saying is resettable. We can even make it public. God, this is so, so, you do like an audit of this thing at some point. There's so many methods now. The hell is this? That's the actual, that's the actual class definition here. Yeah, just properties. And then in here is actually where the methods start. Okay. Yeah, so let's just have a state tracking here. Oh no, no atomic. Strong. Read only. Nice. Um. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth organizing these things into like when things are mutable and non-mutable. That's fine. Where's, where's that? Where's that reader? Here we go. We'll call this one. Um. Oh jeez, I mean, I, this thing needs to. Yep, reviewing PRs, Tim. That one was not mine. Pokedex app? What Pokedex app? I have no idea what you're talking about. Me? Make a Pokedex app? No, I'd never do that. I'd get in so much trouble. Like, I'd come and have the Pokemon company email me and be like, you cut that out now. Screw it, I'll do it here. Whether the user has modified modified the cropping content enough for it to be resettable. Good set, tracked by KVO. Whoever wants to watch it by KVO. Non-atomic assign. Actually no, it's just read only. Is re is copying resettable?
is crop reset. Is that in here as a rideable? Whoa! What the crap? Okay, that's weird. That's it's it's buildable with a bunch of warnings. That's new. What about state? I got 99 bucks, and that's another one. Yep, story of my life. Like, if there's not hordes and hordes of bugs, I'm clearly not doing it right. Okay. So now we'll go back to the crop you delegate. You become resettable. There we go, and we'll have a... We'll, uh, just tr we'll just track that here. So this whole temp angle thing shouldn't be necessary. Hmm. Wow, this did a lot of a lot of math inside the method about this. Uh yeah, we can probably okay, we can probably get rid of all of this now. Reset. Oh, wait. Did I already do this? God damn it, I already did this. Okay. That's great. Self, self that can be reset. Okay, that was entirely unnecessary then. That's great. It's great when you've <laughs> it's great when you've forgotten you re you wrote some code, so you just rewrite the same code twice. It's the problem when you've got like really long long running software. Okay. That can come out now. That can come out now. This can all come out, I think. Hmm. A lot of code here for not much. Photographic arts with Kenji Sakaguchi and Nando. Okay, yep. I need. We can make this more smart as well. We don't need any of this. It can all go away. Is this, is this just a duplicate of... Yeah, it's just a duplicate of this stuff. Yeah, it's not really good code. <laughs> the principle is DIY. Don't repeat yourself. But, um... When in doubt, just put everything in a separate method. Now we can just, uh, now we can actually just make us both of these things, um, both of these, um, just point to the same method and it's fine. Hopefully, I get the, this, this does not, None of this? None of this has to be done now. I think, yeah. And yeah, none of this has to be 
Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty, so. I wonder if this should be, should this be a, uh, a pop-up or, a, or an, uh, an alert sheet? Actually, no, this is fine, yeah. So. Thing is, I don't actually want to have this pretend as well. I might make this off by default. Confirm, uh, what would you call it? Let's have a, let's have a boolean. There you go, okay, put, put it here, so. Yeah, I might need to go through and just completely clean this header file up at some point. It is really big at this point. Shows a confirmation dialog. User hits cancel. And there are pending. Default is no. And Boolean show cancel confirmation dialog. So, if self.cropView dot can be reset and um, what was it? Self dot show cancel confirmation dialog. You just put this in here. I mean, it might be might be smarter to put this in a. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. <laughs> Zero out of ten for gameplay. I mean, isn't isn't programming a game? This is a game, right? This is premium quality content. Put this on here. Let's clean up a little bit, though. Otherwise, just self dismiss. Resources, yep. The game, we all lost. Yeah, you're not wrong. Big self dismiss. Oh, that should do it. I can make this a little bit. Uh, I don't think I can. This is how. I usually try and prefer to not nest these things just because it gets really messy quickly. Yes, action. And then no action. And it'd be lovely if you could add, can you just add a group of actions? Alert controller, add action. Oh, apparently not, okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's have a look. Oops, now I have to actually enable it in the demo app. I must have demo. My dog. Edit out the dog and just have get to the. Uh... Whoa! Some pixel artifacts there. 
There we go. And hit cancel. Yay! Re reset it. Hit cancel. Yeah! There we go. It's working. Cool. That's uh, hopefully a little bit nicer. I hate it how these really long method names are now really common. Even Swift doesn't really do anything to get rid of those. Yep. Go. Cool. There's next problem. This isn't localized. It needs to be localized. And I don't have 10 people on hand right now to localize it for me. So I'm going to just do uh, the easy thing. And I have this sweet little localization app. We have something for discard changes. Apply changes? Nope. Under, nope. Nope. Delete changes. Delete changes sounds about right. Save changes? Just make it, you could flip it, save changes and say yes, and it doesn't. Undo changes? Writing changes to disk. You have made choices. That's nice. You've made choices regarding conflict resolution. Yeah, it's great when the, the computer just says to you, you have made choices. Your changes will be cha saved if you unlock your device. Okay, I think delete changes. Delete changes is the closest one, I think. Oh, of course, one delete changes. Yes and no, pretty easy. Probably should have a, add a hook to this at some point because I, I use custom pop-ups in my um, in my view controller as well. So I'd, I'd want to use that instead of the default Apple one. That's fine for the purpose. Actually, we can, it might be a bit easier. There's usually, there's usually nicer ways to do this code, so. Can't be reset. If it can't, if it can't be reset, well, that is set to no. Yeah, just dismiss it. Dismiss and then return. This here means like the less code you can have indented, the nicer it looks like. Yeah, I screwed that up. <laughs> okay. Come on. Eh. Eh. Yep, that's working. Cool. Oops, my watch is telling me to stand up. Oh. It's going to be a very long string.
Oh, that works. All right, now just to localize these, um, let's check that in for now. Is that the only thing? Is there anything else I need to change? Angle changed. Uh, initial angle. No, I don't. We don't need initial angle. I don't think. Is that me? It wasn't me. Yeah, no, it's. Don't think that's necessary. Refactored cancellation dialogue. Right now to localize it. This is a problem when you add new strings, especially when you're trying to make a, a, a library that has a lot of language support. Every single language we support. A lot. Like we support English. And French. And German. Japanese. Simplified Chinese. Traditional Chinese. Spanish. Italian. Korean. Russian. Polish. Indonesian. Portuguese. Arabic. Turkish, Vietnamese, Dutch, Denmark, Danish, whatever that means, Malay, Hungarian, and Romanian. Hopefully, okay, hopefully there's enough strings for this or else I'm screwed. And I'm hoping every each of these languages uses a question mark, I hope, because if they don't, I get, I get nothing. French. Oh boy. Oh, that's long. Okay. German. Please change it. Japanese. How do you say that in Japanese? I have no idea. Enko Sakujo. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oops, that's not the Japanese string file though. Simplify Chinese. Okay. Simplified is Chinese Chinese. Or Ch Chinese from China. Sup, Ben? And traditional Chinese is from Taiwan. Traditional. Spanish? Uh oh. No Spanish. Oh, phew! Okay. Italian. I have to go through and do a yes and no afterwards. And I need to go and add question marks to everything. System strings is the best. 
Like for these little libraries, that's just like you need one or two words localized. Um, it is a godsend because these are all like Apple sanctioned translations. Like these are like system standard. So odds are they are exactly what you need for your libraries. And the great thing about uh, this being open source is if anyone thinks that's wrong, they can file a PR. Because that's how open source works. Boy, there's a lot of languages in this bloody thing. <laughs> So many languages. Wait, what's the difference? You got Portuguese and you got Portuguese from Portugal. Um, I guess I'll take this one because it's got better capitalization, I guess. Does Arabic use question marks? Is that a, is that a thing? The thing, like, assuming every language uses question marks is kind of. Well, what? Well, that's that's tripping me out. Whoa, what? Everything's backwards. Wait, what side of the thing does the question mark go on? Hang on, I need, I need a moment. I need an adult. Is it? Delete changes. Go. Ah. Uh. A question mark at the end? Or did I just screw that up? Um. Yeah, I guess just put it at the end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ar Arabic is right to left. But it's weirding me out because um, when you select that text, suddenly your keyboard also becomes Arabic. So when I hit left on my keyboard, the icon starts going right. And I've never had my keyboard wig out of me like that before. That was fascinating. Wait, I put it on the wrong side? Are you serious? No, not you, Siri. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, so I put it on this side? Oh, come on. Ah, I can't. That, like that? No, that breaks it even more. For Pete's sake. Why is this so hard? <laughs> like that? I mean, these ones have got, um, that's not, that's not an exclamation mark, is it? What do that? Is it going to, is that going to be okay? Or is it going to tell me I'm wrong in Google? No, it's just going to be like, no, nothing. So oh, hard. Pokemon Go is good. I'm gonna play Pokemon Go after this, maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna skip. Take that. Okay. Think that is. Nope. That. Yes. Yes, that's it. Okay, that's done. Oh my god, that took a moment. Okay. Um, okay, delete change. Turkish, Turkish, Turkish. Boy, 
like, I, I did not know that like the keyboard changes direction when you select Arabic text. That's like a new feature of Apple, I had no idea. That was crazy. Like, I feel so sorry for people whose native language is Arabic because like, everything else must look like chaos. Dutch. Dutch. Uh oh. Oh, there it is, Dutch. Oh, yeah, Hebrew is also reverse as well. Danish. Where's Danish? There's Danish. Yeah, these are like problems most most English people just never even think are a thing. It's it's insane. Hungarian. Hungar Hungarian. Now, some of these words are really long. And Romanian. This is great. Like these, these cup, these last few languages were added by pull requests. So there's been people using this library in Romanian apps, which is awesome. Okay, that was fun. Let's now still just do yes and no now. <laughs> I'm hoping they all have yes. Oh, yep, they do. Wow, that's insane. Yes in English is yes. Yes in English is also yes. Localized UI for Hebrew is typically terrible as far as positioning. Most people just switch to English to not deal with it. I would assume that Apple put a huge effort into it. So on the iPhone, it should be better than absolutely terrible. French and yes in French is we, oui, but how do you spell it? Oh, oh, UI, okay. And hopefully it's better write these myself. Yes, and Deutsch is ja. It's J-A. Yep. Japanese is... Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I never speak Japanese. I do, I do know as well. Actually, yeah. If I, if I can, if I can, like... Do both at the same time. I have no idea how to spell no in French, though. N-O-N? Is it just N-O-N? Is, is that how you French? Most dev support, both third party and Apple. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Oh, jeez. Wow, this is, wow, the word no is in the system a lot, apparently. French. Non. Yeah. I'm just going to do yes for now. No is going to be really painful. German. Yeah, I cannot pronounce yes in Chinese. Um, it might be the same kanji for traditional Chinese, or I could just be a dumb foreigner. It looks the same. Spanish. C. Oh, I, I probably could have guessed that. Italian. Uh, crap. That's also C, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's even spelled the same way. Korean is um i actually have no idea how to pronounce yes in korean right that was the wrong language that was the wrong translation file it's the italian or italy and korea don't say yes the same way okay russia da
Polish. Polish is Polish, yeah, as well. No, it's no, it's very much not. Okay. <laughs> Asian is Tak. Yep. Yeah. Is it just pronounced Tak? Is it like a silent K or anything? Or silent T? I, I don't know. I oh, was Indonesian. Indonesia is Y A. That's easy. Portuguese is ah oh, crap. Is not written. Oh, there we go. Sim. That's good to know, thank you. Arabic. So this won't be as crazy as the before. Turkish. Bet. Vietnamese. There's Vietnamese. There it is. Dutch, that one's yeah, right? Yes, okay, I got one right. I knew, I knew that yeah, yeah was yes in more languages than just German. But that's the extent of my knowledge. Danish. Danish is also yeah. Ah, that's convenient. Mum, mum, mum. Where's melee? The hell's melee? There you go. That's oh, ya. Yeah. Okay. Hungarian. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's like I G E N. Yeah, noise is uh, Australian for yes. Um, Romanian. Is not the uh oh, oh, there you go. Da. All right, let's do no, let's do a uh, no now. Oh boy, it's so many. How many strings does this thing have? It's like, no, in all capitals. We just, need, we just need non non capitals. Traditional. Spanish. Spanish is. I've forgotten. Dang it. Where, where even is it? Spanish. Ah, oh, geez, where's Google Translate? No in Spanish. Oh, it's just. Wait, seriously? I don't trust that. Oh, it is no. Okay. Wow. What a roller coaster that was. Okay. Spanish is just no. Thank you. No wonder I didn't know what, it, what no was in Spanish, it's because I never thought to memorize it. No is actually just no. Italian also is also no. That's convenient. I'm guessing it's not no in Korean though. Yes. Okay. Actually, I can just copy and paste. I can just... Russian. Actually, I can just copy and paste, can't I? See. Polish. Indonesian. I don't know how to pronounce that. T T duck. Portuguese. Now. Nao? No. Arabic is gonna be crazy again. There we go. Oh that's no, one symbol, that's nice. Okay. 
Dutch. Oh, nearly there. Boy, localizing a whole app would be painful. This way. Like, my next app, I'm going to have to just release it in English first and then, like, slowly crowdsource the translations. I think. Um, boy, or just, just dump a pile of money into a translation company. Okay, done. It's localized. Added localization. This guiding changes. Work is going well. It's pretty intense. Um, but thankfully, it's got it's gotten it, the weather's gotten a lot nicer in recent days. Now it's cooling down for winter. Before it was as hot, and wet, but now it's. Very nice. Enjoying Japan a lot right now. Okay. Nice, like. Come back for Try Swift. Oh. oh, what's that old screenshot doing there? That's better. Um, there we go. So. Refactored issue 307. Add this card changes. Refactor of 307. Merged in 319. Is it 319? Refactored and merged. 319. Thanks for the PR. Cool. Added zoom enabled to enable prop. Okay. Issue referenced. 290. Oh, hi, Mel. How's it going? Probably very easy if I was to do a PR. But crappy. What is this? How do you. What is. Okay, that's good. It's zoom enabled. I'm gonna have to refactor this aspect ratios thing though. Oh, shut up, Siri! Set zoomable. Might have to refactor this one as well. Self set set zoomable. I mean, there's no point why this is like. Um... It's just a read only. Write only. Yeah, I feel like this is probably better off as a property, not as a method. Yeah, I might refactor this. What, what, what did I just do? Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, let's... Just... Not boring! I mean, the localization just now is pretty damn boring, but um, the rest of it's great fun. sample app again Oops, I 
by the stash. And we come with this line. We have a go away confirmation. Confirmation dialogue went. If I can spell confirmation dialogue and cancelling. Probably just need to be a PR for that one. Edit confirmation. Apple. Sunrise. Alright, what's next? All right, let's uh, let's do this one. Oops. Wait, did I disable pushing to master in this one? Oh, whoops! No, I have to do a pull first. There we go. Okay, let's, um, okay, let's, let's re refactor this one. Oops. Okay. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. I hate Vim so much. Into mode. Press this. All right. There we go. Ah, boy, oh boy. Semicolon X. That's what I have to remember to do. Okay. So where is my crop view? Zoom. That zoomable. Here. What the hell is this? Okay. The zooming, the scroll view is enabled. Zoomable. Okay. That was it, right? Yeah, zoomable. Yeah, okay. That works. Uh, return it with a... map it straight to that. That build, that build, that built, that's good. What else we have to change? The view controller. What was the view controller called? This is a little side app I made. It's not even an app, it's a library that lets you edit photographs on your iPhone. The idea is you can pick a picture from your Photos app, 
like a picture of my dog and then crop it down and then save it out as a separate image. Nothing too groundbreaking, but it's the kind of thing that a lot of apps like having, especially if they're doing like user photos and things like that. Um, and a few pretty impressive companies are using it. The biggest one is Google. Google's put it in their Google Drive app, which is um, awesome and kind of terrifying at the same time, because I'm not sure if they want to depend on my quality of code. Zoom enabled. Through this core view contain MB Zoom. Keep all yet. Yep. Good. Wait, is it good? Is this gonna be if this is false by default, this is gonna be broken. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. The system resets, yes. Okay. Good documentation. Oops. Watch is telling me that I should probably stand up at some point. Okay. Yep, zooming is enabled. Okay, let's test if... Uh, let's, we should probably add a... Um... We should probably also set it in here so you can change it at any point. I'll just after you've presented it. Set zoom enabled. Ew, evil iPhone. We have a hatred for Apple since we worked at uni. Sa Samsung? Nah, Samsung's terrible. The Pixel phones are fine. I don't hate Android. Android's a fine operating system, and the Pixel 3 is fantastic. But I do really hate Samsung. Because they make phones that catch fire and set planes on fire. And then their response to... So their response to that entire incident was to make commercials making fun of Apple. They are a shameless, shameless company. Uh, if... What? Why is that complaining? Wait, why is that complaining? Shouldn't be complaining. That's weird. Okay. Whatever. And then that's him enabled. The hell? Okay. I keep a fire extinguisher nearby. not being treated as an IVA. What have I done wrong here? That's weird. That's so damn weird. Copy number. What? Xcode, are you drunk? Wow. Wait, that was a joke. Is Xcode actually drunk? No, what? What? Oh, whoops. That's right. That's because I got it. Okay. Oh, right. Because I said that. Right. The synthesizer automatically deleted this. The, not to sound like an objective C nerd, but the synthesizer deleted the implicitly generated instance variable when I implemented that method.
There we go. That works. All right, let's test this out. I'm going to show a confirmation to disable zooming of the images. I'm not sure why you'd really want to have this, but many people have asked for it, so enable equals no. I'm guessing. Wait, was this even going to look okay? Like, why would you want this? Let's have a look. Yep, so zooming's disabled. Um, and so you can, you can drag the box in and you can drag it around afterwards. You can resize the box. Um, you can reset it, I guess. All right. Well, two people asked for it. It's in there now. No skin off my nose. All right. I'm not going to even have that as an option. I don't worry. I don't really, this, this does not feel nice to me, but. Yeah. Refactored. Ability to disable zooming. All right, see you later, Mel. It's good to see you again. We want the image to not zoom in, only the Dropbox would rotate. Uh, okay, yep, you can disable the chat box resizing and have to zoom out image resolution will not vary. When zooming out image width and height reduce. I'm not sure if this is what they want. Start cropping the image, the image gets zoomed in along with the crop box. We wanted the image to not zoom in, only the Dropbox would rotate. It would be grateful if you could provide some help. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. When zooming out, image width and height reduce. I'm not gonna merge this one yet. I refract this one. I'm not disabling pinch record. this issue. In any case, because the image zooms in when you shrink the crop box and you can't then can't then zoom back out this feels kind of broken. I might sit on this PR for a bit. Uh, 
This is actually what was being requested. So I get the feeling they just don't want the zooming animation. But the thing is, that looks kind of... Why would you... Why would you want to have the crop box not zoom in? I'm guessing what they want is when you... I'm guessing what they want is when you, like, do this, it just stays like that, and it doesn't actually play the zoom in. Um, which is not hard to do. It'd be kind of weird, though, but it's not hard to do. Yeah. Done that one, I think. Add the following methods. Set translucency off, set always show grid. Okay. I'm going to just go back now to the master. Alright, this sounds kind of cool. This shouldn't be too hard. What? what? No, do not use this method if you want to keep the good. Um. Um. I get the feeling the person who wrote this hasn't done much Objective-C before. Um, okay. Because you don't need to really implement these methods in the header file. Um, yeah, let's give us a try and see what we get. Uh, right, let's grab that. Ha! Not gonna beat me this time, Zim. Ah! I mean, not Zim. Vim. Damn it! this okay okay set always show grid set transistency off what does this look like Oops, get an image okay the translucency is always off yep that is yep make this make it smaller not bad. I don't, I don't find that offensive. Um, but here's the, here's the kicker. Did they test to see if it works in the circular one? Ah, oh, they did. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, this is a very good PR then. Excellent. Uh, very good PR except for the fact that you probably shouldn't do this. Alright, let's do a little bit of refactoring. Alright, let's see here. Um, so let's make these instead of being methods on prop view. Yep. Yeah, we'll make them properties here. We'll put them down here at the bottom. Very bottom problem. <clears throat> so we'll hang on to those method names just in case. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose them and just completely go blank. Okay. Boy. Um. Always show the cropping grid lines.
even by even even when the user isn't at interacting. Default is no. Oh, it's still eight o'clock. I'm a dinner yet. Jeez, I'm gonna have dinner soon. Um, oh, cropping grid never hidden. And then you'll have a the morning. Do not use this method if you want the kid there. This also disables the fading animation. Permanently hides the translucence. Covering outside bounds of the crop box. My music just end? Oh my god. Uh, where's the next one? Episode 103. And just three. There you go. Right. Default is no. Translucency always hidden. Where, where is this logic thing? Wait, what's, what's, what's self the grid hidden? Wait, so they implemented private, I guess it's interesting, they implemented private properties, but they didn't expose them. Um, okay, that was close. Pretty close then. Yep, yeah, okay, so I didn't make that. That's not piggybacking off one of mine. Okay. But we probably don't even need... I didn't. I did that one? No. Seems kind of redundant. Okay, I'm going to leave both of those. See how much, it, how loudly it complains. It complains a lot. Okay. Good hit. I did that one. All right. Yeah, I did that one. Okay. Jeez, I am just getting everything. Um. No, it's grid hidden. Oh, but dropping grid never hidden. 
even I don't think this is even necessary. That's not even necessary. Okay. If I think we'd never hidden. Always show. Never hidden sounds kind of weird. Let's refactor that to a show. Always show. Cropping lines. Cropping grid. There we go. That. Always show cropping. If self that greeted him. Okay, self that greeted him. That hidden to. Where show it? That it hidden to the opposite of always show. And animated pro doesn't really matter. If editing and always show. It's just Just accidentally killed it. I got outsmitted with Eva. Oh, cool. That was it. That's all it took. Nice. Okay. That was easy. All right. Now let's try this one. Translucency always hidden equals. Oh, hang on. Should be the opposite. That should just be like. That grid hidden to always showing. Yeah, I might need to check that. I might have accidentally broken it. Um, okay. Um, so what we will. Translucency off. Yep, that's all. That's hands. Always hidden. If translucency always hidden. 
Always hidden, just the same as that, then. Touch it. Yep. Hidden acorn. I think that's it. Is that it? I just to see if you're hidden. Where's that one? Ah, yes. Work or if I kill it. Hey, it's working. Cool. Make sure the other one's still working. Wait. So the grid should not be there permanently. And it is. That's bad. Regression now. Why is that a regression? How does that become a regression? Shouldn't be a regression. Ah. Uh. Why did that become a regression? Dang it, I hate when this happens. Basically what I'm checking is, um, these grid lines in here shouldn't be visible at the beginning. So I've, I've broken something to make them initially visible. Um, and I'm not sure what. Red overloop. Oh, I think it's it's here. Um, yeah, I I I, I broke the I broke the initial state. Set grid hidden. There you go. There you go. Okay, is that working now? Yay, that's working now. But yep, if I zoom in that they appear, they disappear. Go. Cool. Progression's gone, fantastic. Cool. So these, two, yeah, they're kind of cool. Yeah, I'm never gonna use these, but uh, people want them, people have a need for them, so. We should just definitely make sure to uh, clean this thing up a bit better later. Just like there you go. rumor refactored, going grid lines and hiding translucency. Then what do I do? How do I how do I get hubs back? Hmm? Get 
Hit check out master. Hit merge. Then git push origin master. Did that, that fix it? Ah, oh, cool, that merged it, cool. Cool, thanks for the PR. Yay. Of a reset button. Six percent completion not cool. Oh, that's easy. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. Nice catch. Thanks. Um. Five files. Reset button hidden. Yep, progress is being made, slowly but surely. Granted, I think I need to go through and do like this giant quality pass because in a library like this gets so many PRs merged into it, I'm sure stuff is breaking. But it's really hard to test. Do we need that? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, he's, he's just copied and pasted what I already wrote. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy to take that as it is. Thanks so much. This one I'm not sure about though. This one, I'm a bit iffy. Actually, I go to the toilet. <laughs> I've been sitting down for like two hours. I'll be right back. Oh, testing. Okay, we're back. Um, okay, let's just do one more quality pass. 
Oh my god, what? What's, what's happened to my library? Okay, so, uh, price. Super long. Super long method names are a reason why Swift became a thing. Does these even need Swift names now that I've actually map made a Swift version of this? I might actually take the Swift names out. Hope that doesn't break anything. Yeah, keep this one native objective C. Um, and put all the Swift stuff in the crop view control. Any allowed aspect ratio. Um. I'm going to refactor this slide. I think it should be a matter of. Uh, Actually, maybe not. Yes, yeah, I know. What I know what I can do. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, let's gonna do this instead. I'm gonna make this nil. I'm gonna make it. I, my 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 modus operandi with, with programming is to try and try and make it everything's nil. You can avoid initiating it, having to initialize it at creation. Just makes things a bit nicer. I'm gonna make this nil by default. So um. Mum 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 mum. Constants. I can actually optimize my objective C a little bit here too. There shouldn't be any reason why these things are not. Um, uh, there shouldn't be any reason why these things actually have to be imported because that creates uh, that creates build. Nope. Apparently that breaks everything. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's okay. Hang on. Bar. Oh, what? That should that is that gonna work? That works. Hey, cool. Yeah, it should work. Um, that way it's a bit lighter to compile. Same token that will slightly break the sample out. Second, you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe that's why. That's why they're exposed. Ah, uh, just, just Objective C problems. Oh, that's fine. Screw it. Just leave it like that, I guess. Not the cleanest, but I guess from a third party library standpoint, that's probably more acceptable. Um, what are we doing again? <laughs> um, oh, that's right. The ra yeah, aspect ratios. But in this number. That's right. I was trying to get the name of the. Where's my con? Where are the constants? There we go. Okay. 
an array of um, inner values denoting which aspect ratios whoops whoops sorry Ration, rations ratios to the, the crop view controller a display nil default is nil all are shown that loud Wait, do we need both of them wait if vertical crop box we even need both of them two what's different i'm missing something here make an array if vertical crop box loop through each as allowed aspect ratio yeah. oh okay add it to the oh i see okay right i feel like you could write this a little bit better let's see if we can do it. if my Shitty ass programming. Remember, aspect ratio, allowed ratio. I think in this case you can just say self to allowed aspect. Self dot allowed's fine. I was taught a long time ago that you should try and use the properties for KBO purposes because the overhead is negligible. Yeah. Uh, to say hey, can I just do this is, is it gonna yell at me if I just do this I yell at me bring up bring that thing back up Can you use enums as a enums as a type? Is that gonna work? Ratio equal gonna work. Cool. Loud ratio dot integer value. Is that gonna work? Or is that gonna complain at me? Oh that works, cool. That's nice. Makes it a bit more readable. So. Um, and it's, these are what, strings? Yeah, the strings. Let's just make that a bit more obvious. This string, item title equals nil. Equals and it's equal. Vertical crop box. Items. Sorry, items add object. Oh, there you go. Sorry, vertical crop box. Portrait titles. The ratio. Landscape type. And just add that to items. That should by way the need for that. Um Where's items used? Oh there you go. For a
Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, uh, is this gonna this is gonna break iOS seven support? Well, maybe at this point we should just do do away with iOS seven support. Yeah, I'm gonna do away with iOS seven support. Anyone using iOS seven at this point? How much iOS 7 code do I have here? Ah, uh, actually... That's should be fine. Alright, now it's not gonna work, is it? There's, there's no way to, no way to, to intelligently pick this. Yeah, screw it. I think it's time for iOS 7 to die. Wait, I like view controller. versions. Okay, so if this is iOS 8. Okay, great. So this is completion. Okay, yeah. Okay, that, that works. Right? Right. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, this. Is that gonna work or I just kill the whole thing? Okay, it works. Wait, what was this before? So, okay, so if... by iOS 7. That's okay, I don't think anyone was using it for uh, using it and the, the number of de deprecation notices in here is getting kind of grating anyway. This is kind of tricky though. Okay. Yep. So what we do is we uh, we'll add them all, add them all just in case. So we'll, yeah, we'll have an items array that has. We just need the names. That's all we need, right? Yeah. Oh no, we need the names and we need the. Oh. We need the names and we need the index they represent. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a smarter way to do this, but uh... Right, so we 
you can just nap. We map them to that. Loop through every item. Ah, this is complicated. Put my head in. Hmm. Our input is a series of Okay, so we'll make a We have two, we have two arrays. We have item strings. ratio values yep okay so If allowed aspect ratio is zero, nil, just batch copy them over, regardless of which one. Quite tricky, I think. from the um the custom right okay, make sure customs here i equal zero that's less than that plus plus add Item strings. Actually, I'm sure there's a smarter way to do this, but whatever. Ratio values and objects. Yep, that'll do. That way, so we'll have a fully fleshed out one if it's not set and a, a, a filtered one if it is set. I don't want in item strings, item title. Ah, oh, no, you gotta do it by dang it, you gotta do it. I equal zero.
pressure base. Gonna be okay, or is it gonna, it's gonna push me? Yep. block actually have to have oh. Alrighty, did, I, did that work or did I just break it horribly? Ah, that was looking pretty good. Take, uh, let's take a portrait image. Nine by sixteen. Yep. Cool. All right. Let's try. Uh, have a look if this works in the demo app. Workers, are they going to crap itself? Perfect. We didn't break it. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's check that in. Oh, actually, let's make a new PR for that one. Dash that. Locally, the factor allowed aspect ratios. Factored loud aspect ridge. We factored so they so the property can be nil by default. I might make another PR just to uh, fully kill iOS 7 support. What else is there? What other iOS 7 craft is in there? Oh, none? That was it? Oh, okay. Really? Not even like the rotate orientation? Oh, there you go. Deprecate iOS 7 at the right time. Um, if I delete these deprecation, depression, 
uh, macros. How angry is it going to get at me? Well, first of all, it's going to yell at me for changing branches. How angry is it going to get? Yep. We'll rotate to... Wait, is that even... It had duration? I don't remember that. Oh, I guess it did. It had duration. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. You know what, this... I don't really mind. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like, it's, it's not, this, this isn't bad, actually, yeah. No, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna just like, prefix it with an underscore. Because I'm adapting this to the iOS 8 APIs already. Um, so what's the big deal? Why does it care? I mean, all I'm doing is just renaming the methods anyway. Okay, there we go. So now we've now we've got we've we've gotten rid of the deprecation notices, and we've properly implemented the right APIs. I think that's it. Double check. Yep, that's animating properly. Yep, that's all good. Do have any more deprecation notices? Yep, kill that. Um, kill that. I think. this one okay how do you do share sheets in ios 8 present activity ui act is it ui activity controller this one All right, there we go. Proper represent. That, that's it. Proper representation. Okay. Yeah, we just have to refactor this entire thing. Okay. All of this is terrible. I can go away. Um, activity view controller. Over presentation control. The mo hang on, so modal pop presentation style equals. All right, no worries, man. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. You too. Happy holidays. Over. Pop over presentation controller dot source. Bar button.
Uh, oh, no, I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, there we go, yep. Yeah. That should just be it, and just self present. Present view controller, activity controller, and hopefully it will not yell at me. Or it might yell at me. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't yell at me on iPhone, but if I run it on an iPad, it's gonna yell at me there. God, it looks terrible, but it works. All right, cool. That's it. iOS 7's officially dead. Long live iOS 7. Remove iOS 7 support. By the stash. Oops. By stash. Oh. Move deprecation macros. And I guess I better update the README and update the pod spec as well. now is iOS 8. Oh, what? It already was iOS 8. Oh, jeez. Okay. Fine. I guess I'll, I'll bump the pod spec, though, while I'm at it. Actually, no, I'll do that in the master branch. Alright. I think it's time. So long, iOS 7. Done. All right, I think we're done. All right, I'm gonna push a new Cocoa Pod and then we're gonna get some dinner. I think we're done here. Make sure that we've got, let's say, iOS 8 in here. Yep. Okay. We, we didn't even support 7 for the longest while. All right. Yep. So that's it. We're going to pick out Master. Okay. Enough, enough changes. I think it should make this version 2.4. Two point four point zero. Kind of major. Oh, bump pod spec. Then we'll make a new tag. 2.4.0 Push the tag All in the same place Yep Pod spec lint Make sure everything seems to be working Working 
I mean, I don't think I broke anything. Now I might play with it while it's figuring stuff out just in case something. Okay. Uh, um, um, um. Yep, cool. Okay. Bud, drunk, bush. Bud spec. and all the API names we've picked here. There's a lot now. Boy, oh boy. Criminy. Not angry, that's good. Comments? Wondering now. Oh. Yeah. Yee! It shipped. Ah, dang it. Wish I could do that. Number first. Version 2.4 is shipped. Fantastic. I guess if this one passes, I think we're done here. Any second now. Hopefully there's no bugs here. Second I find a bug. Nope. No bugs. Oh, thank God. And it shipped. We're done. Alrighty, thanks for watching everyone, that was good fun, have a good weekend.